So I'll just put this herb away for now. And I've still got that small key in my inventory and we'll use that right now on this desk. Okay? And as you can see, contain some handgun ammo. Alright? So in the police station area there's actually two desks total that can be unlocked. The second desk is on the second floor just beside the door that leads to the library, okay? Fucking liquors, man. Oh shit, I gotta go to- oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I just realized I had to go through this door, okay, because I now have the key for it, the spade key. So this is one of two doors that can be unlocked using that key. Fucking hell, that's bullshit. I can't believe I got hit there. I almost ran past this door, okay? I was just gonna keep going down the corridor, but fuck, I just... Something just clicked in my mind and I just turned around and realized, fuck, I gotta go through that door, okay? Got hit again by that liquor. Such bullshit. But anyway, this room just contains that crank, okay? Resident Evil games are fucking obsessed with cranks, okay? Even though I haven't played every single Resident Evil game, I'm willing to put money on it that there is a crank. At least one crank in every single game, okay? I'm talking Resident Evil 1 all the way to Resident Evil 6, okay? I'm willing to put money on it, alright? I don't even think I've used the word crank in real life, ever. Because what is a crank, you know? In what context would you use it? Oh, I guess you could say something like, I'm just going to crank up the volume of my TV, you know, but you'd never say something like, oh, can I just borrow your crank for a day? W what does that mean? What is a crank? I don't even know, you know. It's like when you say a word so many times that it just loses its meaning and you completely forget about what you're talking about, alright? That's what the word crank does to me. It's just fucking mind-blowing. <laughs> fucking cranks. Love it. Anyway, we're coming up to the second door now that we use that spade key on. And this is actually the last door that we can unlock using that spade key, okay? The first one was near the liquor just before. And there's a lot of zombies in this room all feasting on a corpse. So I'm just going to take care of them using the shotgun. I like to wait for them to huddle around like that. And one blast, you know, sends quite a number of them flying. That one's still fuck was oh there's another one fucking crawling to me. It's bullshit. Another one! Fuck! So you know, like I mentioned before in the previous video, if you don't stand close enough to a zombie when you fire the shotgun at it, sometimes it'll just sever its torso, okay, and its upper body will start crawling towards you, you know, and grab at your feet. And if it does that, you know, you just gotta mash the buttons to stomp its head off, okay? Now right here is the location of the second desk, which is what I was talking about before, okay? I do not have another small key, so I couldn't unlock it. If I was clear though, I could have just used the lockpick and opened it straight away. But with Leon, I've got to find another small key and come back to that desk, okay? And you're going to want to as well, because that desk contains upgradable parts for your handgun. Really, really good, okay? Trust me, you're going to want to get it. Instead of just firing off one shot at a time, like we are now, you'll be able to fire up to three shots at a time. Trust me, it's awesome. Where is the location of the second small key, you ask? Well, basically, it's coming up pretty soon. It's in another save room, not too far away, just sitting on a couch, okay? You'll see it glimmering there. You can't miss it, okay? So we've just put that crank in the wall there and made that staircase come down. There's actually another puzzle to solve up that staircase, but you need a cog key item to do that puzzle, okay? We don't have that yet, so I'm just going to leave the area for now and come back when I do get that cog, alright? So we're in the library now. Fall through the floor there, that always happens. Just another puzzle to solve in here, okay? Examine this. This image actually shows you the location where the bookshelves need to be placed. You'll know what I'm talking about in a minute, okay? Just push this button for now to move that bookshelf out the way. And as you can see, those three bookshelves there have buttons on them. Alright, move the first one to the right, and then the second one to the right, okay? 
and that is it. That should do it. That will come down, and it contains a key item, the bishop plug, okay? We need to collect four plugs in total, alright? So it's like king plug, bishop plug, queen plug, and, and rook plug, or something like that, okay? That will open a door later on in the sewer area. Alright, but for now, you can you can just put that bishop plug in your stash, okay? There's no need to carry it around with you. Kill a few zombies out here. Pretty hard to tell if they're dead because the camera angle's a bit fucked up here, okay? I couldn't even see that zombie on the ground there. It was blocked off by the railing. Now, just before, when we are in that library, that is actually my favourite room in this entire game to spend time in a okay, K to be in because that room has the best music I believe in the whole game okay I just fucking love it I don't know what it is about it but that is my favorite piece of music in this entire game in the library okay I love that shit and we just push this ladder down okay that'll just allow us to take a shortcut up and down you know a lot quicker as opposed to going through doors and then going all the way downstairs you know the long way so that's a no oh my god I'm on fucking danger Jesus Christ I don't <laughs> I'm limping like a fucking bitch again okay I don't have any herbs to heal with I've got a red herb but that doesn't do jack shit on its own I need a green one but luckily here is a save room okay and this is the save room I'm talking about that contains the small key. So as you can see, it's just on that chair there. Glimmering away, grab that. And I need to go to this fucking stash and get a healing item, this is bullshit. It's entirely up to you how many herbs you want to carry with you at all times, okay? I actually wasn't carrying any, so one more hit from a zombie or a liquor or anything would have killed me outright, okay, but I'm not really carrying herbs with me, okay, because I'm quite confident that I can get through these areas without dying, alright, and I know that there's always a herb somewhere around the corner, okay, but if this is your first time playing, I would strongly recommend that you carry a full at least one full healing item you know like either a red and green herb or three greens mixed together carry one of them with you at all times okay just in case of bullshit prepare for the unexpected so to speak all right but like i said because i am familiar with this i don't really need to all right but that was quite close there i almost fucking died that was bullshit but anyway, we'll use the small key on this desk here and get the handgun parts, alright? So all you really need to do now is just combine, open your inventory and combine your handgun with those handgun parts and then you will get the upgraded handgun, okay, which can shoot three bullets at a time. It's really good, you know, so for example, if you've got a zombie in front of you, instead of just firing away at it one shot at a time, and you know it takes about five to six shots for the zombie to go down like that whereas you know if you just fire three shots in rapid succession with the upgraded handgun usually they just drop straight away okay it's really good but you'll notice that I haven't actually combined it yet okay the reason for doing that is because and this is a little secret this is kinda cool alright Say for example you're firing away at a zombie, you know, like I am now, and all of a sudden you just hear click click and you're out of ammo, okay? There's no extra handgun ammo lying around anywhere, you're fucked, you're completely out, okay? So what do you do? Well, you combine your handgun with the upgradable handgun part, alright, and that will give you a full clip of ammunition when you do that. So that's a cool little secret, you know, and you can employ that tactic you know, just go ahead and fire away your handgun until you're completely out, then just combine the part with it, and there you go, another 18 bullets. And this hall's a bit fucking annoying because there's crows everywhere, okay? And we've got this crazy music. It's just, it's a bit over dramatic, you know, just for some fucking crows, but whatever. You can stand and shoot the crows, okay? They take one shot each, 
and you don't have to specifically aim at them, you know, like up or down. You just, you know, just pull your gun out and just shoot. One shot, each crow will go down. I think there's about eight, maybe more, maybe even ten, I can't remember, but I have actually shot them all, okay? It's really easy, but it's even easier just to run through that hallway, okay? There's nothing really there, except I did pick up some handgun ammo off the dead body that the crows pecked to death. Okay, but you've got to be quick about grabbing that handgun ammo, okay? Otherwise the crows will get the better of you and start pecking away at you like motherfuckers, okay? They're not too damaging, but you know, like all those types of enemies, you know, like little spiderlings or packs of crows or bats, if they all get a, you know, a peck in at you, it can, the damage can pile up, you know, and they can give you a bit of a beating, but for that hallway, you know, I just recommend just running past it. You don't need to stand there shooting at them, okay? It's just a waste of time and ammo. But anyway, we just went down there. We collected the valve handle, which we need to use over here. All right? And that will release the water from the above water tank, okay? And it will clear the fire to the right. By clearing the fire here, you'll gain access to a new room okay in that room is where we use the two red jewels to solve a puzzle so that is the next step and we can put away the valve handle for now we have no use for that until much much later in the game when we start heading through the sewer area alright so that's just taking up a space of our inventory that we could really do with run back through the crow corridor and I'm gonna make my way back to that save room where I'll get rid of the valve handle and also take out both of those red jewels okay because like I said that is the next step and by completing the upcoming puzzle in the room where we use the two red jewels we'll get another plug okay the king plug also in that room is the diamond key so that's gonna allow us to open two more locked doors in this police station. Actually, that's what I wanted to say in regards to the keys, okay? You probably actually noticed this before when I was using the spade key, but basically, when you use a key to open a door, okay, and it's the final door that can be opened using that key, all right, the game will actually give you the option to discard it, okay, so get rid of it from your inventory do it okay select yes there is ap I don't honestly I don't even know why they asked that question it's just fucking ridiculous okay why you would say no and keep a useless key in your inventory is just fucking beyond me okay I, I have no idea why anyone would do it I have no idea why the game even asks you to do that okay but for example we've just picked up the diamond key there okay there's two doors to unlock We'll unlock the first one. When we get to the second door and unlock it, the game will say, do you wish to discard? This key is now useless. Select yes, okay? You need as much inventory space as you can get in these old school Resident Evil games, okay? The, oh, there you go. There's the king plug, okay? So we just put in those two red jewels and got that. Oh, one more little secret over here. There's some hidden shotgun shells, okay? You can't see them, they're sort of behind that box there. Just make sure you go, you know, go behind that box and press the use button, you'll be able to grab them, okay? They are quite hidden. Yeah, so you know, space is really limited in these old school Resident Evil games. It can be a fucking bitch at times, especially the first time you go through the game, okay? And you start collecting all these key items and you don't know when you need them. That's very fucking annoying, okay? And it's what's going to make your first playthrough the longest. Because, you know, you won't know where to go, what to do. You'll be experimenting. You'll be picking up all these items. You'll be holding on to them, not knowing when you're going to need them next, okay? And if you do put an item away in the stash, all right, and then you get to a puzzle and realize you need that, you have to go back to your stash, get the item back out, go back to the puzzle, you know, and so on and so on. So first playthrough will definitely be the longest okay but on subsequent playthroughs you know you'll know what's going on you'll know where you need to go without thinking too much you'll know what items to use okay 
which is the point I'm at now for these walkthrough videos, okay, I know where everything is. And at this stage, I have the diamond key, so that's what I'm doing now, okay, there are two doors to unlock using the diamond key here in the police station, and the first door will contain another plug, okay, the rook plug, and the second door that we unlock using the diamond key, that will actually contain another key, okay, the heart key. So fucking keys galore. And the final key we get will be the club key, okay? But for now, we will run down this hallway and open this door using the diamond key. This room contains the rook plug, like I said, so we'll grab that. It also contains another item, as you can see on the desk there, okay? This cord. Now at this stage, I hesitate because... To me, this item is totally fucking pointless, okay? And I'll explain why I believe it is in a minute, but for now, just quickly grab the rook plug over here. When you do, a liquor will jump through the window, alright? Like so. So quickly make sure you just run for the door, okay? Don't even bother fighting it. It's in a confined space. It's just fucking bullshit, okay? Just get straight out of there. And also, if you plan on going for the A rank, don't pick up that first aid spray there as well, okay? Now I did pick up the cord item. What does it do? Well basically, if you noticed in that hallway where we met the first liquor, there was actually these shutter windows, okay? They were broken, they were open, and there's actually a panel next to those shutters, okay? And if you examine it, it says something like the, the cord is cut or the wires are cut, all right? So now we have the cord and we can actually use it on that control panel to fix the shutters, okay, and make them close. But there is no point to even doing that, okay, because, I mean, a bit later on we'll get a cutscene, okay, and it shows all these zombies coming in through those shutters if you haven't used the cord on the panel to close them, alright, but... By that stage, you're ready to leave the police station area, okay? And there is absolutely no need to come back through this hallway ever again, okay? So honestly, I do not understand the point of the cord item. I believe it is totally fucking pointless, alright? That's why I was hesitant in picking it up just before, because it's a waste of inventory space. There is actually another location you can use that cord, and that's in the hallway when you go through the door that is locked by the heart key, okay? And that's actually where I use the cord, alright? But, honestly, cord item, fucking pointless, alright? It's the same with the camera rolls, okay? There's actually camera rolls scattered throughout the police station area, and you can pick them up and develop them in the dark room, alright? But all it does is just show you a photo and give you a bit of text. Who cares? I don't want to be picking up that shit where it doesn't benefit me in some way, you know? You can sort of liken it to picking up files and imagine if the files took up space in your inventory. That would be totally fucking ass, okay? That would just be bullshit. So that's why I don't bother picking up the camera rolls, okay? Because they do nothing and they just waste space in your inventory. But anyway, we're in the room now where we get the heart key. And if you remember when we first came into the police station, we met up with that cop who was injured and he told us to get lost. You remember? He pulled the gun to our head. Here he is. I love that. So we'll just pump him full of shotgun lead there and grab the heart key. So the fucker turned into a zombie, okay? I knew that was going to happen. You all knew that was going to happen, okay? You could see it a mile away. But that's fucking cool. I actually love that scene. That's one of my favorite scenes in this game, okay? Where he gets up, you know, and you think he's going to talk to you. And then you've just got that intense music. And his face starts turning really pale. I fucking love that. Still looks good even to this day, you know, in 2013. It's just good stuff. Alright, so we now have the heart key, and we can go and unlock that door, and go through. That will lead us to the underground area. Alright, so we've done everything we can in the police station for now. 
Alright, we need to go into the underground area and collect the spade key, okay? And when we get the spade key, we come back here to the police station, unlock a couple more doors, and go from there. So we just unlocked that door using the heart key and we discarded it, okay? Because that's the only door to be unlocked using the heart key. A couple of herbs here, we'll grab them. I don't think I'll combine them just yet. I've still got a free inventory slot to play around with. And this is actually where I use the cord item, okay? But for now, I'll just go over here, grab the shotgun shells. Sort of hard to see, very hidden. And on this panel here, I will use the cord item and close the shutters, okay? So I guess by doing this, you know, it just prevents the zombies from breaking in because we're about to go down the stairs now to the underground area and like I said once we get the club key we need to come back this way and I guess if you didn't put that cord in you know and the shutters were still open zombies would probably come in okay but every time I get the cord I just use it on those shutters okay so I'm not too sure what would happen if you didn't use the cord on those shutters like I said I assume zombies would just break in but there's some dogs here, okay? Be very careful. These fuckers can deal some hefty damage on you. They are very fast, okay? Very difficult to outrun these guys. There's actually two of them here, okay? The trick to taking care of them, and it was the same in Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut, okay? Oh my fucking god, I'm on... Jesus Christ. Fuck. I almost got totally fucked up there, okay? Like I said, dogs are very dangerous, they are fast, and they do hefty damage, alright? But the trick for taking care of them is shoot them, either with a shotgun or pistol, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? They will fall to the ground, wait till they're fully standing, they will growl, that's probably the best indication when to shoot next, okay? When they get up and you hear, the, hear them growl, fire another bullet, shotgun blast whatever they'll go back down okay rinse and repeat until they are dead with the shotgun obviously they're gonna go down quicker because it's a more powerful weapon but if you choose to use the handgun against them okay try not to just use the single shots because it takes forever you know they can take anywhere between seven to ten bullets to take down like that make sure you've upgraded the handgun you know so that you can just rapidly fire three shots in succession and they will go down a hell of a lot quicker okay trust me so knowing that dogs really aren't too bad the problem there is that there was actually three dogs total okay and the first dog's not too bad you can sort of walk a little bit forward and get his attention he'll come running to you straight away but the other two dogs you need to actually run out towards them almost get their attention very close and then run back. The problem is they run faster than you and those fuckers will lunge and bite you, okay, dealing you damage. So you saw there, alright, I actually had two of them. Oh, here's a, here's a couple now, okay, I'm just running past them because I don't want to deal with this bullshit and I never need to... <laughs> Fuck! I got hit again, Jesus Christ. But yeah, we don't need to come back that way anymore, okay, so I don't give a fuck about those dogs, just run straight past them. But yeah, as I was saying, okay, those two dogs just before, they got the better of me. They kept lunging at me, biting me. The problem is, I switched out to the shotgun, okay? And it's very slow initially to aim and get that first shot off. So that's basically what I was trying to do, okay? But those dogs were just fucking relentless, okay? They just kept jumping and biting me. Such bullshit. But they're dead now, I don't care. Here we've got a little puzzle, okay? We've got a reroute the power all right it's really easy just push the switch up twice down twice all right one more time and then back up again okay you've just got to sort of even it out get it between 80 and 100 really really easy okay and it will allow us to use the card reader on that door which is actually the weapon storage room okay and that room Besides containing, you know, a nice amount of shotgun ammo, handgun ammo, it contains two other items, okay? The first item is 
an extra side pack which will basically allow you to carry more items in your inventory okay so it gives you increased inventory space which is fucking awesome and the second item is a submachine gun we'll talk more about that in a minute sorry about that when I saw the uniform I thought you were another zombie Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? So there we go, we just met up with Ada Wong. Before we help her push this truck out the way, just go over here and grab the green herb, okay, before you forget. And as I was saying just before, okay, that weapon storage room contains the side pack and a submachine gun. Alright, now choose one of them okay do not be greedy and grab both of them because for the following B scenario okay when you complete Leon A scenario will unlock clear B scenario and when clear comes back through this way whatever you've taken as Leon won't be there okay Ada wait Ada wait <laughs> yeah so like I said don't be greedy just choose one of the items okay so for example if you pick the extra side pack, which is what I always do, that will not be there for Claire's B scenario, okay? The submachine gun will be there, and vice versa. Okay, if you take the submachine gun as Leon here, then only the side pack will be available for Claire, okay? So, make your decision. I always choose the extra side pack with Leon, okay? Fuck the dogs here, be careful they jump out of the cell doors here. It's a nice camera angle, so it's in my favour at this stage. Can easily see the dogs and take care of them. And as you just noticed, you know, I was using the upgradable handgun and firing off the three rounds at a time. They went down like a bag of shit, okay? If I was just using the single fire, one bullet at a time, it would have taken forever, okay? So. You know, if you are going to use the handgun, make sure it's upgraded. So yeah, you know, make your decision which item you want to pick up as Leon and Claire, okay? Like I said, with Leon, I always pick up the extra side pack. With Claire, I go the submachine gun, because her weapons are totally fucked, okay? I do not like Claire's weapon arsenal at all. Leon's weapon arsenal is far more superior, I believe, okay? He gets the shotgun, which you can upgrade, you know, you'll find upgradable parts for that, which just makes it fucking insane. He also gets the magnum, which is incredibly powerful, and you can upgrade that as well. But Claire's weapons suck, alright? And I'll talk about that in a minute. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up, now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. 
Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But... do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but... it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Alright, so that's Ben. He's told us how to escape this area for now. We'll grab this manhole opener and head back to the location that was flashing on the map, okay? And use it on that manhole and go down into the sewers.